afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Monday, May 8th, 2017, and we're very excited to have in the studio with us Matt Garakis. Take it away. Sounding great. Thanks again so much for coming in and hanging with us. Yeah, Appreciate thank you. That. No, for real. I'm glad you brought like the whole crew with you too. I know a lot of you in other projects. Do you maybe do you want to go around and maybe say who's in all in what and what do you do outside of this project? Sure. Um, we'll start with Brett here. Yeah. Cool. Outside of this project, I also play in another band called The Flats with Chris, cool. as well as a band called Tranquility. Awesome. Rad, rad. And want to go with Chris next, maybe then go yeah. around. My name is Chris. Uh, I Sing in a band called The Flats with Brett, as he just said. Cool. And, uh, yep. Awesome. You as well? My name's Gabby. I don't <laughs> do anything else but chill But with Matt's Matt. band? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. No, it sounds awesome. We chill. Steve, I'm in secret space. Cool. Rad, rad. Uh, I know, like, the Toledo music scene's, like, kind of pretty happening right now, and there's a r lot of cool bands coming out of there. Has it always been that way, like, growing up with you, Matt? Or do you think it's more of something that's, like, now more or less better than you used to be? It's, uh, when I was younger, um, it was more like the metalcore scene, you yeah. know, or at mm -hmm. least that's what I was doing, you know, yeah, 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 that's what sure. everybody was doing. Mm -hmm. So, um, it, it seemed like things were popping off pretty hard and mm -hmm. as I got older, things started to 
you know, people don't really come to the shows that much. Yeah, yeah. As they used to. And uh but there are a lot of great bands. Like Secret Space, mm-hmm. for instance, the flats. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's good. Sure. Pe- people support people support. Yeah. It's just it's just not as happening as it used to as be. As it used to be. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's but. what I was wondering. Because I was like, I know like a lot of places, like I'm just from Michigan a little bit north of there, and I know like the scene always comes and goes as well. It's like sometimes the hardcore scene will be like really like like blowing up and things are happening. Then other times it's like no one's at a show. So sure. I just didn't know if like if that's something you're seeing. You said like the metalcore thing was kind of happening. Do you think that's still a thing? Like hardcore metalcore is like in Toledo is probably happening more than let's oh, say what you guys are doing. It's happening. Think? Yeah. For okay. Sure. Cool. So it's <laughs> more or less like you guys kind of changing and the scene's kind of just like doing its own thing. Yeah. Maybe? For sure. Cool. You know, you grow up and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, there's still those shows. It's like a pocket of people that just. They just love that shit. Yeah, you know? and they just go which off. I back and, it. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And we all go in and out of those phases. I feel like too. Yeah. Cool. Well, you guys can roll the next song whenever you're ready. Cool. Let me tune up. You good? great i really dig that last one that's super cool thank you yeah i wanted to ask when you were like writing that one did you think about because i know on the record anthony green did that guest vocal part which chris you did a very good job that sounded thank amazing. you i know it's hard. yeah it's hard to hit what you're doing but exactly you did you did it it was sounding killer man it was great thank you. but um did you picture that when you were writing that did you think of like having someone do that part or how did that come about no i didn't um I went into the studio with the last part not written. Mm-hmm. It was just the rest of the song and ended oh, right there. Okay. And then um, Will Yip, the um, the dude, Citizen, we record with him too, um, said that it needed an ending. So I wrote the music, mm-hmm. and uh, he records Circa and stuff, yeah. and then 
Citizen just did the tour with Circa, so it all like fell together yeah. where Anthony was just like, yeah, I'll do it. You know, so yeah. he wrote the melody, the lyrics to that part. He killed it. Yeah, it sounds great on the record. It's really good. Did he come in or did he do like record on his own and then send it in or how he, did that? He came in after I left. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And just record over top of it? Yeah. yeah. That's super cool. Super cool. And when you were like, look, what I was mentioning earlier when you were like demoing this record or writing this record, I heard that like you did it in a house and like yes. you had to like hide the gear at some points for it's, something. What what was all that all about? That sounds a little more dramatic than it actually is. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Chris, my brother flips houses. Okay, cool. cool. And, um, he bought this house in Toledo, mm-hmm. and I didn't have a place to record, so I set up my stuff there. And um, so, you know, it, it wasn't necessarily hiding stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than making things not look like shit. Yeah, yeah. You when, know? They, when people showed right. up, yeah. I For think. sure. Yeah, it was like, because when you flip a house <laughs> and you're selling it, you have to show the house. Yeah. And it has to look really good, and, like, it's hard to keep a studio or a band area looking good. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we had stuff, like, stuffed in closets and, like, tried to make it look really Some, like, good. like, third grade yeah. bedroom cleaning shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's rad, that's rad. Well, I can tell, like, on the record, there's, like, seems to be a lot of space. Like, not just, like, musically, but also, like, in the way it was recorded. And I want to know if, like, maybe writing in an emptier house or, like, in a newer house or remodeled house, did that have an effect also on, like, how you approach the songs? I, uh, when I was demoing, um, I didn't, because I, like, record stuff, too, for fun. Okay, yeah. And um, I was just, in in my head, I just wanted it to be as raw as possible. Mm-hmm. So for the demos, I would just do one take everything. Okay. And I wouldn't, like, quantize yeah. or tune. You know, I would just do it. Mm-hmm. And um, I kind of got to experiment with a lot of cool stuff there, and I... It, I think it brought out a lot of cool energy. Mm-hmm. And when I um, went into the studio with Will, I was like, I just want, I want room sounds. Yeah. You know, I just want it to feel like open, open, yeah. like I'm playing in a room. Like that's like yeah. what I really want. So, and he killed it. He always kills it. No, so. it seriously sounds great. It definitely has that vibe. So I'm cool. really stoked about it. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> glad. <laughs> you succeeded. You guys can roll that next yeah. one when you're ready. <laughs> All right. This, this song is for my dad. He's probably watching this right now. Trying to get that feeling right Well, last night 
love that. That's probably like my favorite track off that record, by the way. I really dig that one. Thank you. Yeah, I want to know about uh, about how that came along because I heard it was about a, like a, a car accident, right? Or like a motor, motorcycle accident. What, how did that come about? Um, well, I was riding my motorcycle and it started raining and then I um, fell off of the motorcycle <laughs> and, um, you know, I guess the the song was written after you, because uh, I thought I was going to die, essentially. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't yeah. wearing a helmet and I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Uh-oh. Which is very stupid. <laughs> I've been there, though. I know you. I know how you feel. <laughs> and... Um, I guess it was just about the feeling you have before you think you're going to die. And yeah. it's not what you thought it was going to be. You yeah, no, I totally know what you're saying. Was it like, were you in the road? Like, was it that? Like, was it like a car that through the yeah, gear of through, the car? Or was it... um, an intersection. Oh, okay. So, Jeez, yeah, that's not good. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's... It was crazy. Yeah, it was I pretty can... cool. <laughs> not cool. I can, yeah, kidding. I can imagine <laughs> that being like kind of terrifying. Do you still ride now? Mm-hmm. Awesome, cool. Yeah. Still ride. Well, I mean, awesome. Chris nuts. rides. <laughs> Gabby rides. She rides oh, yeah. hard. Hell yeah. Do you all like go out together or is it like a thing that you kind of just when you can? Yeah, we'll squat up a yeah. lot for Hell sure. Yeah. It's Sweet. fun. We all have our own bikes. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris is selling his though because he's a trader. <laughs> but, <laughs> getting rid of it? Yeah. It's too much. Was it the song that convinced you, Chris? Or was totally. it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, Chris, just, Chris is trying to get his um, finances together because he just oh, bought true. a van. Oh, nice. And he bought a Church of God van. Oh, yeah. Um, it's yeah. badass. Does, does it say that on the side, Church it of does, God? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you Sweet. get like a, a decent deal like from the church or how did I actually got it from a dealership who it, for, in, in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, nice. Um, and they got it for free from a church. Oh, so wow. Cool. I gave them a pretty low offer yeah. and they took it. I don't know. Like, I don't know many people who want a van that says Church of God yeah. on the side, you know? But. Cool. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe when you're on tour, people won't mess with you because they will never get pulled over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We you're put good a to go. giant Bible in the front, too, like right on the dashboard. Dude, you're not the first band I've heard that does that, actually. I That's heard cool. that works. When they get pulled over, they just, you know, have the Bible there. They say they're a Christian band. They get off nine times out of ten. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm, like, doing a hack right now or if, but. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it works hey, from what I hear. Yeah. We'll test it. Yeah. You know? Let me know how it goes. You cool. guys can roll that next we'll let you ready. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever feel like something's in your way? When the truth comes out, it's just too hard to get past. It's just way too hard to deal with anyway. I can't help but sit in a moment with nothing to talk about. But would you even listen? you even make it out? Could you even make it out? Every night, every night keeps me up.
last one i wanted to ask about i saw that you posted like a seven track album from songs from luna like uh i think they're like demo songs and stuff about right yeah, yeah it wasn't in all the donations went to like a rescue dog yes. rescue so how did that come about how did you end up doing that um well we got back from recordings the uh, the citizen record and um i had a bunch of recordings lined up to for to record other bands and um i was just kind of exhausted from yeah. it you yeah. know mm -hmm. so i um just took some time to learn some songs and um play them and just record them real quick and just yeah. have some fun and uh just recorded a bunch of songs and uh put some demos on there and post it online and i just figured do something nice uh yeah. the the charity it's not a charity it's a dog rescue it's called okay. toledo pet bull okay it's luck it's uh local and they uh rescue like abused pit bulls and stuff you know that's awesome so uh i'm i'm still getting the donations for it mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna gather it all together then, on june 1st oh, and that's nice. when i'm gonna pitch it all pitch to it over? That's you know awesome. just yeah. so i get a, a good bulk amount yeah so. instead of just a bunch of little yeah, 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 yeah. no i totally for sure you. So. Uh, do you have a pit bull yourself yes awesome his name is uh slinky slinky yeah cool like toy story that's and awesome. then i got a german shepherd his name's rex like mm -hmm. Toy Story, <laughs> and I had All a Rottweiler things. named Buzz, but he died. Oh. So oh. rest in peace. Rest in peace, Buzz. Buzz. Yeah, this is for Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> this set sets for Buzz. Um, did you uh, growing up? Did you have dogs as well? Is that kind of like a thing you've always done? And it, are these rescue dogs too? Or um, yeah, some of them. Yeah. Um, okay. I guess yeah, we've had dogs our our whole, whole life. life. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. I, I don't think cool. there was ever a period of time where we didn't have a one. Dog. To three dogs that's when awesome. we were growing up. You I'm know? the same way growing up, too. Yeah. yeah. It's always great to have around, especially. And that's, like, the one thing about living in the city that I'm, like, bummed out about. It's, like, because I, I don't have a dog just because, like, no yard. And, like, yeah. it's just, like, the city is kind of harder to deal with. But I can imagine, like, having dogs around is, like, the raddest. So it I, I, it's pretty cool that you, like, are donating to that cause. Because, like, I know a lot of people, some people rescue, but not, it kind of gets passed over a lot, like, as far yeah. as. Because there's so many dogs that need homes that, yeah, like, don't I know. get looked over. So. It's sad. It is. I think me and Gabby are going to, after this little run with Sorority Noise, we're going to go look at some shelter dogs and see um, uh, what's good. Hell yeah. Know? yeah. Which we, sure. we will end up leaving with one. You yeah, just can't, yeah, yeah. You can't That's go the hardest there part, yeah. And look at all their faces and yeah. leave, you know? Yeah, so. exactly. Well, uh, it'll be yeah. fun. A new buzz, right? Yeah, the new buzz. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, well, you guys can roll that last one whenever you're ready. All right. Two in real quick. talk about I'm drawing circles here yeah. I'm getting dizzy now oh have you been I haven't seen you Like you don't exist. Oh, oh, prescription. 
Thanks again, guys, for coming in. Really appreciate it. Taking your time to do this. Yes, thank you for having yeah, us. Thank you guys no very problem. much. No problem. Um, you can catch them on tour. They're about to start tomorrow with Sorority Noise, so make sure if they're coming in your area to check them out. Also, his new record, Luna and the Wild Blue Everything, is out wherever you get your records. Make sure you pick that up. I also want to thank the lighting and camera crew, the audio engineers, everyone here at Audio Tree who helps make this happen. We really appreciate that. Uh, you can help support us and the band by doing so, by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see everyone next time. Bam. Cool. That's it. Sweet. Sounds fucking hot down there. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>